different from a regular cooker. Well, a regular cooker, like a multi-cooker, does a few things. It doesn't pressure cook. It doesn't really crisp up the food. It really has kind of a limited perspective on how it can cook food. This is completely unlimited because not only can you slow cook, you can fast cook as a pressure cooker. You can crisp because it has the crisping lid that comes along with it. So now you can air fry, you can, you can stir fry, you can deep fry, you can saute, you can boil, roast, anything you wanna cook in here, even a full size bird you can cook in here. And regularly you would never do a bird in a pressure cooker unless you were making stock because it wouldn't come out crispy. Look at that beautiful chicken, unbelievable. All right. Rochelle Lucas is here. Before we get to Rochelle, really quick, because I know you have a ton of things to sell, let me tell you what our offer is today, because it's really great. Normally, you go and you shop for this, Rochelle, and it's yes. over $200. It's like $210, $220, $230. Yeah. We dropped our price down to $189.95. I found out yesterday, too, they're going to do free shipping on this. And this is not cheap to ship, because it's a substantial item. It's got some weight to it. I mean, it's a real oven. Um, we are doing flex pay, which means only $37.99 versus retail when you got to go pay the whole thing. You only pay a fraction of the cost. And when you see the results that come out of this, I guarantee you will probably use your oven about 75% less than you use yes. it now because you can utilize this. Anyway. For sure. Hi, Michelle. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Good to have you here. I haven't, got, I haven't been able to work with you in so long I either. Know. But this is, this is a really exciting event for us because I know a lot of people have looked at the Ninja Foodie. You know, I think, I think our sister station QVC had it for a little while. It goes crazy over there. It sells out. It sells out all it the time. It sells out. And even though it's a little <laughs> more than maybe just a regular pressure cooker, it does about a thousand times more things than a pressure cooker. You can cook seven different ways with it. Yeah. So it's a combination of a pressure cooker and an air fryer all combined in, into one. So what that means for you is when you cook your chicken, you don't have to transfer it to the oven to get that nice, crispy, golden brown skin. You can do it all in one pot with really easy cleanup. So you, I'm so excited to show you all the different recipes we have today. All of them are included in the cookbook that comes with a foodie. So if you're a foodie, you really do need a foodie. You gotta have it. <laughs> so look at the chicken. So this one is just pressure cooked. And this is fine if you're making soups or yeah. if you're gonna do dumplings, dumplings things like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. This isn't something you'd wanna serve your family because it's, you know, it's kind of dull looking. Um, but ordinarily, you'd have to pop this into your oven. This is the tender, crisp Crunchy chicken. on the Crunchy top. Crunchy on the top. It's got nice brown, golden color. And so this looks delicious. This looks like something that you're gonna feed your family. I actually do a roast chicken every Sunday night, and I've en so enjoyed having the foodie That's such a good over idea. the summer because yeah. I didn't have to heat up my whole kitchen with my oven. I didn't have to, you know, everything was one pot. It was on right. the countertop. It was easy cleanup. And I'm probably gonna, gonna end up doing this for Thanksgiving too, because my family doesn't really like turkey. And this is a five pound chicken. So I'm gonna leave my oven for all the pies. I'm gonna do this, sure. you know, in the fall for Thanksgiving. So now what I've got is ribs. Oh my God. I know you've been smelling this oh all, all morning. God. It smells so good. And so <laughs> these ribs we did, I think in about 20 minutes, we pressure cooked them. So we had the pressure cooking lid on top and then we swapped the top. So that's what this lid is. This is the tender crisping lid. You can see it bubbling see like it, it was bubbling. under the broiler. We put some barbecue sauce on there and finished the ribs all in one pot. So you get that nice, oh wonderful gosh. barbecue caramelization. I hear <sighs> you're like. <laughs> well, because listen, I'm a rib guy. I know what ribs yeah. are supposed to look like and that's exactly what they're supposed to look like. And normally in a pressure cooker, which is not a bad way to pre-cook ribs, but then you'd have to either take them out to the grill, you'd have to put them under the broiler. It's a mm -hmm. separate thing. And once again, you gotta fire up the oven. You do. And you're spending more money. This is a convenient, totally versatile way to not only save money, but get results that are even better than the oven. Because remember, we could have pressure cooked these ribs first. We could have, right? we could have. They are really like oh fall gosh. off the bone tender. You get that wonderful crisping. Are you looking for a fork? Dig yeah. right in, dig right I in. I know, Amanda wouldn't forget about me. <laughs> she would never forget about so me. Oh, look at this What meat. I love about the ribs too is I'm doing this in not like half the time, plus I'm saving money. So ribs are my husband's favorite. Yeah, I got one. And usually when we go out to eat, you know, they're like 30, 40 bucks. Oh my and gosh. here I can make it the way I want it. I can make it at home. We All we did is we pressure cooked them for 19 minutes and then we did the tender crisping lid for another maybe 10 or 15 to get this mm. nice golden brown crisping. That exterior? Perfect ribs in less it, than an hour. Well, it caramelizes a little bit on yeah. the top. And uh, you know, if you wanted to, you could open it up in the middle, of, you know, in the middle of doing that and Toss them around a little bit. Yes. It's a good idea. But that, I would never know that those were not done fully outside on a barbecue or slow cooked. Exactly. That's amazing. Exactly. You're getting restaurant quality style Yummy. ribs 
at home, you know, you've got the tender crisping lid here. You're just going to flip the top is what we say, or swap the top. So yep. once you're done with the pressure cooking, you're going to remove the pressure cooker lid, put this top on, finish your ribs. You're going to have that nice golden brown caramelization. Comes with it. Comes with all of that stuff. And by the way, I do have the Ninja Foodie book, cookbook available. Uh, I recommend you get this. I think we still have this available, Jared, don't we? The cookbook is amazing. I, and I will tell you, it is a wonderful guide to using the foodie and it has all kinds of great recipes and instructions inside. It's a great cook, it's only 16 bucks. So the money you're saving, which is $40 today, I would get the Ninja Foodie Cookbook mm -hmm. just, just to you know, have a little guide so you know what you're doing in there. For sure, and it also comes with a cookbook. So there's 45 yeah, you recipes, get a little you yep. get a little cookbook with it. It teaches you how to do the chicken, it teaches you how to do the ribs. It also has this pepperoni pasta pizza bake that I'm gonna show you. Oh so we've gosh. pressure cooked the pasta. I'm gonna open it up real quick this here. This shows you the two lids and how they this work together. This does show you the two lids. So yep. this is the pressure cooking lid that I just removed. We pressure cooked the pasta, so we put hard, dry pasta in here with the sauce and so then it was able to cook it all together it was able to infuse the sauce and the flavor into no the pasta water. no boiling water no boiling water no multiple pots so what oh, i'm going to do now is i'm oh, going to finish no. this the way you would finish it in your oven i'm going to put some mozzarella cheese we're going to put some pepperoni on top and we're going to make this into a wonderful pasta bake without having to transfer it to the oven without <sighs> having to transfer pots and wait till you see the uh well, how the cheese just melts and caramelizes and on thing. top pepperoni has a lot of residual flavor fat mm -hmm. excuse me uh, uh, same thing uh, has a lot of residual flavor in it but it, and it's only released when really when you heat it like in a pizza exactly. oven so we just turn this kind of into like a mini pizza oven that's gonna bake the top and make it bubbly and crusty and then what I love about it too Rochelle is that if I have the kids over or people over I can put it on warm yes and it'll stay warm so if you're doing a buffet if you're doing Buffalo wings or something. You could just keep the food warm. People could serve themselves. You can, you can. Now I want to show you the screen here too because the foodie, the Ninja Foodie is really smart. It knows what lid that you're using. And so it will automatically light up the panel here depending on if you're using the tender crisp lid or the pressure cooking lid. And so I'm actually going to use the camera here as a mirror because I can't the, I can't see around the other side of the machine. And we're actually going to set this to tender crisp to um, air crisp. How and we're going to go for... 400 and yeah. let me remind you guys I'm doing this backwards so this is how easy it is yeah. so you can <laughs> change gonna, the temperature you right can change there the temperature, you can change the time we're just gonna add this for maybe four minutes and get that cheese nice and melted and then we're gonna come back to it and have some and then I'm gonna hit start Boom. And there it goes. Oh That's how gosh. easy it is to use. I love it. It's nice and brightly lit, too. I don't ever, whenever I present anything, I always think about my mom using it because my mom is in her 80s, mm -hmm. and I want it to be easy for her. It's very and easy. her trying to bend over and try to pull things in and out of an oven doesn't happen anymore. Yeah. So if she wants to make, like, a mini pizza or if she wants to make pasta, it's, it's a lot of steps. The oven is, you know, even if she wants to roast a chicken, she's not going to put a chicken in the oven anymore. No, my mom just yeah. can't do it. Uh, you know, and they're in an apartment, and the oven's way down there can't do that. This you put up on your counter. You'll still get the wonderful sense of cooking, which yes. are fantastic that yes. we love in fall, but you get the ease of being able to put it together right here. And again, I can't emphasize enough, cook in this, or if you see behind me over there, I don't know if you guys, uh, Harrison, you see the, uh, the shot of the oven? It's yeah. huge, yeah, yeah. Look at it. Well, look at it. Look at it. <laughs> look how big that is. I don't need to cook six chickens. I'm just, you know, I mean, I want to just cook one or two things. I don't need this giant oven. And do you know how much energy it costs to heat that thing up? Because you have to preheat it and all that stuff. Plus, I can't saute in there. I can't, I can't do all the things that I could do in here. And the money at the end of the year will pay for this easily. It's amazing since I got, I have a pressure cooker and I have, uh -huh. a, I have an air fryer. Because this wasn't here before. I would have gotten this, because I, but I used them all the time. I rarely use my big oven anymore. Yeah, it's I don't either. I haven't really used mine at all this summer. I've been doing my uh, roast chicken in the oven. I've been doing ribs inside because yeah. it's hot. I get bit up by mosquitoes when I try and go outside to grill. So as much as I love barbecue, I prefer barbecuing in Pe my chicken with the food or in my kitchen with the food. People are like, you're in Florida. You guys must barbecue out a lot. No. I'm like, are you crazy? <laughs> it's 98 degrees outside with 110% humidity. That's how bad it is. It's hot out there. It so we're going to show you a little kind of a little clip here that we have that shows everybody how it works. Sure, sure. So this is the Ninja Foodie. We're going to start here with the pressure cooking lid. So you get two lids with the Foodie. Pressure cooking reduces your cook time by about 70%. So you're going to cook things uh, more quickly. You're going to infuse it with flavor. You're going to tenderize your meats and you're going to have really juicy, wonderful meats. Then we have the Tender Crisp lid, which you saw it just flipped on. And this is like air frying. So it's going to surround your food with 360 degrees of hot air 
You're gonna get that nice crispy skin. You're gonna get that perfect barbecue on your ribs. And you're also gonna be able to cook all of your dinners in just it, one pot. So that's what we're gonna do it's next. It's starting to smell so Doesn't good in here. Doesn't it smell so good in here? I, I don't know what you, yeah, you got fries <laughs> cooking. I know that smell of french fries, but notice what's missing. Where's the fat? Where's the There's oil? No oil? We use this just as a basic air fryer now, and we get that great circulation of air and crispy, crunchy, delicious. Two oh pounds, two pounds of fries. I actually like to do sweet potato fries in mine, and the foodie is the only oh, yeah. thing I've ever been able to cook my sweet potato These fries in and have them actually come out all nice and crispy. So, um, you know, if you wanna do sweet potato fries, if you wanna do wings, we've got some wings coming up. We've got some, um, you know, football parties coming up. You know, you can use it as an air fryer, you can use it as a pressure cooker, and you can use it as both. Talking about cleanup. Simple, right? Super easy. Okay. So it is dishwasher safe. There is a non-stick coating on the basket and also in the six and a half so have, uh, ounce bowl. Yeah, bowl. so you have the so you interior air fry basket and you have the large capacity giant, the six and a half quart underneath. Yes. With that, uh, that ceramic non-stick on the inside of that as well. So you literally, you got very little to clean up. But if it's you're using so the air fry easy. basket, you really just wipe out the other pot. It's, so, it's yeah. so easy. Really at home, it is dishwasher safe, but I usually just end up really quickly washing it in my sink because I want to reuse I it know. again for something else. <laughs> I would leave this out like a toaster. I, I honestly, do. I would I really leave this do. out like my toaster. And, and you know what you need to do is, and I'm, and I'm talking to you out there, you know, you need, use a little bit of your creativity when you get this mm -hmm. machine. There's really, there's really nothing you can do that's gonna hurt this machine, okay? When you're, first of all, when you're pressure cooking, it's hard to make a mistake in pressure cooking. You put, you put whatever in your, whatever is in there, in there, a little bit of wine, a little bit of stock, you close it, and you can make pot roast in less than an hour. That would normally take you four hours to cook. You could do all that stuff, but if you've got leftovers, frozen chicken, Take some frozen chicken, put a little wine in there, put like uh, some, some vegetables if you want, put a little stock in there, and then just uh, maybe a little, uh, you know, like uh, take a package of like onion soup mix mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and pour it on there and close the lid. You'll be amazed at what comes out because this the flavor penetrates through the food. It certainly does. I mean, whenever you're pressure cooking, it really infuses the flavor of the yes. food. That's why with the pasta bake, all of those noodles are gonna have the flavor of the I sauce. I can't wait to it's see the gonna, cheese. It's not gonna be like, you know, boiling yeah. water or boiling salty water. But like you were saying, it really is so easy to cook. There is a cooking chart that it comes with. There's a cookbook with all kinds of different charts for pressure cooking and for air crisping. So that way you can really guide yourself on your own cooking adventure. But there's also 45 recipes in here and all the recipes that we're doing today are included in the cookbook. So if you wanna make these ribs, they're included. If you wanna uh, make the chicken, it's included in the uh, cookbook yeah, too. It's hard to make a mistake. If you're somebody out there that's not a great cook, uh, and I, I sympathize with you, you know what, before I got into the restaurant business, I didn't know turd about how to cook anything, okay? I worked for 17 years and I learned a lot of tricks and recipes. The biggest trick I've ever learned ever since then is the ability to use pressure cookers and air fryers. They are an amazing tool. Because you know, I don't cook anything in the microwave. I use my microwave to make popcorn and reheat coffee. That's all, <laughs> I, I don't cook in there. But I love the fact that I can get the speed of pressure cooking. Oh my gosh, look at the cheese. The cheese. And then I can get the crispy melty stuff with an air fryer built in just by taking the lid and putting it on and then latching the lid down. That's all you need to do. We give you, the one lid is built in, the other one, the pressure lid comes with it. Mm -hmm. So you just pop that on when you want to pressure cook. And I am telling you, one pot meals galore. If you're an empty nester, I just told everybody Danny moved out, so I left for college yesterday, so I'm officially an empty nester. So, but, but you know, I don't wanna, I, wanna, I always cook for like four to six people because I like to exactly. save leftovers, like to exactly. freeze things. You can do it inside here. Halfway through, we've gone through about half of the food. I hope you're handing that to I me. I am, I am. So this is the pepperoni pizza pasta bake. It is included in the recipe book, but I what really love heck? that you can elevate any of your uh, casserole dishes, any of the bakes that you wanna do. You don't have to transfer it uh, from your stove top to your oven. You can cook it all in one pot. It's super easy. It's super easy cleanup too. In. Go in, go in for it. This is one of my favorite recipes too. Super, it's hot, so be careful. <laughs> Delicious, right? He's speechless. You know what's funny? <laughs> I've worked at all these restaurants, and, I, and I, I, I've, I've had professional chefs make pasta and, and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. and this has nothing on any of those other dishes. There's something so homey and hearty about just the pasta with sauce, yes. with cheese, and with like meatballs or sausage. Pepperoni, this has you pepperoni. Can do sausage too if you want. This wanted. is so ridiculously good. And I, and I wonder, I don't know, Rebecca, if you guys can come really close in on this pasta. I want you to look at something. Normally when you cook pasta and you boil it and you sauce it, what color is the pasta? It's like a whitish color, right? What color is that pasta? 
That pasta is almost the color of the sauce. Yeah. Why? Because the pasta sauce has penetrated the pasta because we pressure cooked it. And the flavor is in every single bite. I mean, it is, let me get some cheese on there. It is completely saturated with that wonderful tomato flavor. Really delicious. Yeah, all, all of that. It is uh, <laughs> 10 times better than pasta boiled in water. It definitely is because the pressure cooker is going to infuse the sauce it. into the pasta. So Stupid. you're gonna get flavor in each bite and then you're gonna use the tender crisping lid and you can put all of your pizza toppings and make it really delicious right. like a bake. Get We've got more to cook. You gotta get that away from yeah, me. Yeah. Why would <laughs> eat that whole dang thing? But, but that makes sense, right? How flavor is infused when you use it as a pressure cooker. Mm -hmm. It's unbelievable. And that, that does it with wine. So if you're doing pot roast, Imagine having a pot roast, it's a piece of meat that actually tastes like the deep flavors of the remnants of the wine and the garlic and the onion mm -hmm. and all the beef stock actually goes into the meat. That's what this does. But remember, it's an air fryer as well. That's where it goes to the next level. It really does. And so the pressure cooking is gonna save you cooking time as well. So this is a frozen steak. I wanna show you real quick here. You can hear how hard it is. We have some potatoes in there with some broth. And so when you get home, you know, midweek, maybe let's say you've got a, had a busy day at work, you always go to the freezer first to look for what's for dinner, yeah, right? Yeah, what do I got in there? And so this is gonna be frozen steak straight out of the freezer. We've got some potatoes with some broth. We're gonna pressure cook this for a minute. Get those steaks nice and juicy, and then we're going to tenderize it. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like here, because um, it will take some time to build up the pressure for the pressure cooker. So I just wanna show you the two different lids and the okay. pressure cooking lid and the air cooking so lid. So because of time, we because fast forward. Because of time, forward. we're gonna fast forward. This is what that does. So you're going to tender, Chris, or you're gonna pressure cook those steaks. Then what we did is we mashed up the potatoes. Let me get a plate here. We mashed up the potatoes, we put some um, asparagus oh, in there, and then steaks. we also put some cheese in with the potatoes. So we like to call this a 360 meal because you're getting your protein, you're getting your vegetables, wow. and then you're also getting your grains. But so because of the tender crisping lid, we were able to brown these steaks and get that wonderful color in there. We were able to also add the asparagus in for the last five minutes. And then we were also able to do these beautiful mashed potatoes at the bottom. So your entire meal, your entire dinner is cooked all in one pot. Super easy cleanup. I love that you love food and that you're just going right into well, the steaks there. <laughs> you, and I, you remember, we're a team. I know, I know. Well, I want you to see how it's cooked. And, and, and by the way, uh, a lot of really good restaurants uh, and the, the five-star restaurants in New York City, they don't put things on a barbecue grill. They do things usually under a broiler. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they do them like a, like a flat top uh, burgers. They do stuff like that. Uh, it's a great way. You know, it lets the meat kind of stand out. I won't go through the trouble of doing all this, but I want you to see just how beautiful this meat is cooked. And then, so we'll put a little serving of meat out there and look at how perfectly, that's, it's, I mean, it's a little more cooked than I would like it, but hey, a lot of people but like it medium. It's that, pink though, on the too. inside. You could definitely control that too. So uh, you'd wanna look pressure at, cook it for a minute. What is that? And then if you wanted to make it more, uh, maybe more rare, you could do eight minutes instead of 10 minutes with the tender crisp. So this is, here we go, there's a big All spoon. All right, hold on. <laughs> yeah, hello. This is mashed potatoes with a little bit of uh, steak um, seasoning and then also some cheese. And so we've done a whole dinner, one complete dinner, 360 degrees of your plate, all in one pot. Easy cleanup, super fast. Be careful, it's hot, blow on it. <laughs> Dude. So uh, that's one of the, the wonderful things about pressure cooking. Those are the greatest potatoes and I've ever had in my life. Are they really? I will, and, I, and I will say, those are probably the greatest potatoes ever. What the heck did you put in there? <laughs> we'll have to take a, like or layers think Amanda of goo for that. and deliciousness. It's just definitely layered deliciousness. I need a bigger spoon. The, uh... You got me a bigger spoon, I need a shovel. <laughs> Oh my God, but, but look at what you just made. Yes, we made a whole dinner in one pot. I mean, that, my friends, is a beautiful meal. And all, we didn't go outside in the heat. Nope. We didn't fire, fire up the barbecue. Nope. We didn't have to do, we did everything in one pot. All right, I got about four minutes left. And we got really busy all of a sudden. I'm so glad for you. Try this out. You have a 30 day unconditional guarantee on this product, but we make it easy because we have FlexPay. It's only $37.99. So you get it home for that. You try it out for a month. All right, shipping is free. And by the way, the shipping is expensive on this. What's the shipping, Jared? It's like 15 bucks or something, or 20 bucks. $20, you won't pay that today. You get it home, you make breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, desserts, whatever it is you want. If you like to buy, uh, you know, frozen chicken breasts, because they're easy. Mm -hmm. What are you gonna do? You don't gotta put them in the microwave, you put them in the oven, it's gonna take 30 minutes to cook the dang things. Or you can, you could just, first of all, pressure cook them for a minute, so they get the temperature, hit the air fryer for like eight minutes, 
and they are done and it's easy to use. So I'm telling you, you're going to love this. If you love it now, wait till holidays get here. Oh, absolutely. Right? Or any party, really. You know, we've got some uh, rib, or, um, wings. I've got oh, the ribs gosh. on my mind because I can still smell them. <laughs> so we've got the wings we've done here. These were frozen. So you can go from frozen to beautifully cooked, then to browned all in one pot. So we've pressure cooked the frozen wings, then we did the tender crisp to get them nice and brown. You can add your own sauce. We've got our blue cheese ready there for you. Oh, and man. then your party is ready to go. Michelle. I know, isn't Michelle, it look you're delicious? My, you're my best friend, Michelle. <laughs> look at this. Now, and you know what? Not all air fryers or pressure cookers are created equally. Ninja Foodie has done it really, really well, guys. And I'm telling you, I do not like a wing that's rubbery. These wings are crispy and crunchy because we cook them properly in a couple mm -hmm. of ways. Remember, you can, I always, I always pressure cook the wings first because it makes them tender. Yes. And then it's less time in, 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 in the crisping tray, right? And they are absolutely perfectly done every single time. Look at that. I mean, you can do a dish like this. You don't have to go buy a deep fryer. You don't have to worry about, you know, if, and listen, if you want to finish them on the grill, I don't have an issue with that, but cook them properly this way. And then you can always add those little times. That's, what, but that's what being a cook yeah, is about. Yeah, you don't have to finish them on the grill. You so don't. Because you've got your pressure cooker and your air fryer all in one with the Ninja Foodie, you don't have to transfer it to grill. You don't have to transfer it to cookie sheet. It's all done in one pot. Really easy cleanup, really fast cooking times, perfect restaurant quality style wings. All right, they just gave me a new spoon. Oh, good. Do you want to go back Sorry. to the potatoes? No, no. I got, you, I've got the potato spoon. I'm, the, I'm thinking this for is for something that's <laughs> inside here. So let's see. So we talked about like soup to nuts here. Breakfast, soup lunch, nuts. dinner. So bre breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You can. Uh, we've done uh, pressure cooking. We've done air frying. You can sear. You can saute. Oh you can bake. And so we've done a um, a crisp. I don't think this is an apple crisp. I think this is a peach crisp. It's in summertime. Giant fruit crumble. So yeah. So you can do your fruit crumble in here. You can use frozen fruit if the fruits aren't in season. I know peaches are in season here in Florida, so we did some peaches. And so you can pressure cook your fruit, get it all nice and wonderful and and cooked and delicious and syrupy. Come and then on. you can add your crumble on top and. Get get it nice and crispy, and you don't have to transfer it to another pot. Oh. You don't have to transfer it to the oven. Oh, I love the way you're serving that. Well, you yeah, know, you're getting 17 years of restaurant experience, <laughs> but got to make it look, look at that. And then I, would I, put love a little, it. I put a little piece of mint on top of that. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you something. Oh, look, there's a spoon. Go for it. I don't know where that came from. It's just, <laughs> all right, hold on. My producer, Jared, he hates me when I do this because he wants to eat the food so bad, but he can't because he's up in the uh, control room. Yeah, I'll go it's for a delicious. whole piece of peach. 